So this is the night before what you're going to be seeing. Um, what we're going to be doing is going to Ikea to get some stuff for my house. So far this week we have gotten some stuff done with my brother's teardrop project. We have gotten all the steel laid out and Saturday we're going to start welding all the steel. And I got a few clips that I'm going to be playing of that. And other than that we've gotten um, a new foam my dad found some foam at his work that he glued together, and so now we have a mattress. Um, we got a lot of stuff done, and I was planning, we don't have school tomorrow because of Easter, so we have Friday off, and I was planning on um, painting um, this, the loft, like underneath the loft area, but instead we're going to go to Ikea and get stuff for the tiny house, so that should be fun. <laughs> Chicago and we're now going I'm now going to put some stuff together um I can't put this stuff in the house just yet because if you saw my last video I was not finished on painting so tomorrow me and my mom are going to finish painting the house and then I'll be able to uh put some stuff in not all of it but most of it and here when I assemble everything you'll be able to see what I got and I got some pretty cool things so so this is the odd ottoman and um this is the frame built and i'm going to continue building it now all you have to do is take these bolts and bolt them right in on each side and that was all have one long one for like kind of like the backrest then we just have this one which is like kind of multicolored and this uh raises up and you have storage underneath the um ottoman and it can move around and stuff like that you can also take the table down and work from here or you can slide it over and uh work from the other side too this is like the only dog i've ever seen that can actually sit on stairs my family is in there right now. We um, have eggs in there, chicken eggs, and we just candled them, which is basically putting a light up to them to see the veins to see if there's actually a baby um, in the egg. So I'll see if my camera can pick it up, but I'll go in there and show you. Veins. Oh, I see the baby. I seen it move. It's moving. Oh Look my it. Gosh. It's moving. It's on video too. Do you see that move? Yes, it, it's moving. That's so cool. That is so neat. Aww. Now, I'm in my basement right now because it started raining outside. Um, this is the locker. This is the finished locker that will be going in the um, loft, and I'll show you where it'll be going in the loft. I have one more of these to build, and I'll actually time lapse that. This one um, was kind of confusing, and so hopefully now I know what sort of I'm doing.
I picked up three um, photo frames and I'll show you where those will be going as well. But a couple weeks ago I ordered a canvas of a photo I took it on our vacation. Also in these three photo frames I have photos that I took um, from our last vacation. So one is on a big canvas and then there's these three and I'll show you where these will be going. One of them will be going on a kind of pretty unique spot, so. Oh, I should explain something. Okay, so, the, so this is a phone from my dad's work that was left over. It was in one long piece and they cut it down and glued it together. So there's two seams right here, but it should do. And it's, it's the same thing as mattresses, but it's just reclaimed. So it was also free. So I finished um, putting together all the IKEA things. Um, I got two orange lockers, an ottoman, three frames, and I got two pillows that you saw when I, we put it in my house to see how it looked. I got those two pillows. And then over here, you saw us put together that foam mattress. Um, we're going to have a, a sheet on the bottom and on the top. We only put the top one on. But you can see my theme is black with the white walls. So like black uh, frames and then white walls with orange accents. Um, my mom is helping me design the whole house so it looks really cool. Um, these sheets are from my my bed. I used to have orange sheets and so we just used them on the foam mattress. Um, these are twin size sheets so that mattress is about a twin size, a little less than a twin size. But it's actually super comfortable and you guys, tomorrow I will be painting, finishing up painting, and then once we're all done painting, um, I'm going to put the picture frames up and uh, install the stuff that we got. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I have my painting clothes on again, and um, I've started painting. I got the baseboards finished, um, and I just touched up everything really. Um, almost everything needed to have two coats of paint, so I the trim right there, the whole ladder, shelf area, the baseboard, some of the, like this, basically everything that needed to be repainted or have a second coat, I did um, right now. Also on the outside, uh, the white trim, I paint, repainted, not repainted, did a second coat. Um, I painted them during the fall until they've been like this all winter and then I just now painted um, them again to really um, hide all the stuff because they had some I, I painted them then put them up and then put this on and I had to put stain on my cedar shake and some of that stain got on the wood so I just repainted over that. Last weekend when we were um, starting the painting job um, the next day we actually uh, we're able to clean up this whole area. Um, I'll insert the before and after picture right now. But my friend, um, my cousin actually, he took down his old garage and had a dumpster. So we were able to put everything away or throw everything away that we didn't need. Because we're just going to be making more of it once my brother starts his teardrop project. So Thursday night, um, I went with my brother to my dad's friend's house where he has a welding shop and we put all the steel together um, and it was really cool um, in normal shops you don't have you just have wood walls in a welding shop you would have metal walls because of the splatter when you weld um, it, it can catch your uh, place that you're welding in on fire but we uh, cut all the steel um, and we measured it you know cut it and put it all together um, now, this afternoon, I'm going to stay here and keep working on my house, but um, I'm going to give my uh, the other camera I have to my dad and see if he can get some clips of them welding. They're going to be welding today. Hopefully get it finished today, or it might take another day, we don't know. But along with that, we're gonna, uh, he's going to be getting the welding merit badge, so that's pretty cool. One thing I found out with uh, when I was researching about teardrops, is there is no instructional videos out there really all there is is music with time lapse of the build and that's really cool to see but you want people want to know how to build them and to have videos just go through everything super fast and the time lapse doesn't really help so 
hopefully I can make a video on how to build a teardrop. I'll try my best and I will tr try to keep it at the lowest budget possible. As you know from this house, um, I'm almost done and I've only spent around $830. So I'm still under $1,000 and I'm pretty sure, um, now that I think about it, I just had a big Ikea run last night as you saw and that was around $200. So I'm right around $1,000 area. But I'll, that's super cheap because people who would normally build this would be already in like 2000 So, yeah. And so far, Cole has only spent $140. Um, we reclaimed all the steel from my dad's work. Um, all scrap steel we're using in the build. And you'll see from the video how strong it is and how well built it is. The only We only had to purchase one piece of steel and um, from Steel Mart right here in Iowa. And they actually donated to his bill build so he actually got that piece of steel for free and that was very nice of them now as you guys know i started a gofundme and i kind of closed it off but i did make around a lot a good amount of money on there also i have a list in my bedroom of all the people that donated um there's so many things in this house that would not be possible if people didn't donate um another thing i'm gonna let you guys know about is Around in June 3rd is my mom and dad's anniversary, and that's also the tiny house year anniversary. That's when I started this tiny house build, and hopefully I can have my open house by then. So I'm really starting to work hard and get this thing finished. Um, next things that are going to be up in upcoming videos is the tile work in the kitchen. Also, building a front deck, and then um, also doing the flooring. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do yet. But hopefully I can get it done by then so I can have my open house. So this morning, um, my mom, my dad, and my sister, they went to Makokota and what's it called? Bird swap meet. It's like a bird swap meet and they got three, uh, no, four, four chicks. And we also, uh, you guys saw last night um, that there's going to be, uh, there's chicks in the eggs. And yeah, and now my mom's here to help me paint up here because it's really hard to paint it because it's all like this. If you guys remember my last video I ran out of paint. Um, my grandma just got done painting her ceiling and putting like tile and stuff in her kitchen. So she had leftover paint from when um, she painted and she donated that to my build. So thank you grandma. So there is now no door. We uh, unscrewed it from the hinges and put it on this table right here and we have um, orange paint that we're going to use and we're going to paint this door orange but I have to first tape it so we have a slight problem the paint that we were going to use we haven't used in a while and it actually dried it's super chunky and stuff like that but I have the um, the whole door taped off and everything so once my mom finishes to a certain point she says she's going to go to the store and get me some more orange paint while I finish um, painting underneath the loft. So my mom is heading to the store right now to get um, more orange paint. We finished up here and since the door was out I'll show you what I did. So right here in this area this is kind of like the door frame area um, I painted and I don't know if I'm going to do it yet but I'm either going to unscrew these hinges so I can paint the rest of it which I probably will do because I have some time now that my mom's going to be leaving and I want it to look good and not like unfinished like it is right now. So I took all the hinges out and now um, I did it for looks. I painted all this for looks and um, to kind of seal it from all the um, water that might get in there when you're opening and closing the door. I felt the ceiling and it feels dry so I'm now going to put the second coat on. Everything um, in here that I painted I had to do two coats. I think just because it's plywood and bare wood that it soaks so much paint up. Um, but after my second coat I think it should look really well and um, once we're all done painting tonight I can actually install some of the stuff I got at Ikea um, last night. So I'll do that now. So now that I've finished the um, ceiling and some of the areas, like the door frame and stuff, the paint, all I have to do now is wait for my mom to get back with the orange paint so we can start painting the door out there. And then once the door is done and we put everything together, clean up this place, um, the white painting is done. The next thing after that 
is the tile, the deck, and the flooring. So there's still a lot of stuff to do, but I'm excited and hopefully I can get it done. Or not done, because this house will never be done. I'm always going to be adding on to things to it, but presentable in the way I like it when I have my open house. So We finished painting the door and it looks super good now we're gonna let it dry we had to do two coats and it might need a third but i don't think it will but it always looks different when you dry so so i just got done putting the third coat of paint on it's getting um the sun just came out more but it's getting more cloudy and more windy hopefully we don't get caught in rain it's supposed to rain around 6 p.m to 7 p.m and as you guys know the door is right here not on my house um i'm gonna show you guys what came in the mail so I told you guys that I was going to um, put pictures up. Now this is a canvas and um, this is a photo I took at the Magolia, Magolia Plantation in South Carolina, Charleston. Um, and I put it on a canvas and then I bought three frames at Ikea that you guys saw. And those frames are going to go one right here along the wall, kind of by the light. And then another one right here. And then there's going to be um, one on here. So this is the table. And I'm going to put it on the table. So the table is going to be up most times. So I'm going to put it on the table right here. So when you fold it down, you won't be able to see it. But it'll kind of be cool because you'll be able to see the photo that's on the table. Another thing is when you guys saw the um, the chicks, one of them I want to name and I want you guys to name it. So comment below what you think the name of that chicken should be. Now I'm not sure if I said this but I'm pretty sure I uh, did say this. I said that we were going to put the uh, stuff we got from Ikea in the house. Um, I installed this but I don't think we'll do that in this video. I think I'll say that for a later video. Um, in this video, you won't only see me just painting um, the door and underneath the loft and finishing painting up everything. You also see my brother. Uh, today he went with my dad and he welded his trailer together. Now the only thing they have left to do is um, uh, brush it down and then they can bring it here and um, paint it. And yeah. So they um, they cut all the metal, they got it all ready, and then today they welded it all. Then they have to sand, it's like kind of like how I sand wood, you're doing that to metal, so you're kind of brushing the metal down so it's ready for paint. Um, I think that's all that for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and remember to comment below what you guys want the chicken name to be. So, yeah, thanks for watching, bye.